if you have a mesh and you want to remove some area on it, like if I want to remove this revolution, revolution of the mesh, I can just select the mesh by custom region and select that revolution. And from this, I can click on the feature and ask the software to remove and fill. So if I press OK, the entity doesn't exist anymore. On top of that, if I got such a part with a boundary on it or a curve, I could extract or trim the mesh with that curve. So if I select the curve here and the mesh, and I press next, the software asks me what is the remaining entity. I will tell the software not the outside but the inside here, and I will keep it. Okay, now I got a boundary here. That boundary I can edit it. So I can edit boundaries and I can smooth it, shrink it, fit it, or ask a fit and ask the software to fit something like a circle and to have a perfect circle on top of that. And okay, so it will refit a circle on it. Now, if I got a CAD and I want to convert this CAD to a mesh, I can easily go to polygons and ask the software to convert it to mesh. Here, just select the body and define the quality. So the more good the quality is, the more polygons you'll get. You can still go to the advanced button here and check the max length, the code length, the edge length, and so on. And of course, in more options, you can zoom under it. At the end, you will get a mesh from that. So if I hide my solid body, I got my mesh. If I display here the edges on the mesh, you can see how the software built the mesh on that.